Hello, I'm Greg Radke at Radke Mods, and welcome to episode 9 of my iPod series. Today's episode will be introducing you to my um, 128GB flash modded iPod mini. And uh, I was going to do this video later, but I want to actually do something before Dank Pods does, and he's already showed one of these. This I've already done. I did this in 2013. And uh, there's a lot of interesting things about it. We're going to quickly go over it, show you how it works, and I'll explain to you how everything is set up. As we can see here, it is indeed 128 gigs. So that's awesome. And uh, it does indeed work. And it's got some uh, modded stuff on it, as we can see here. Pretty cool. And that's proof that I did this in 2013. I mean, I could have lied about it, but no, I actually have had this since 2013 and modified it. And how I did that, I'll explain to you how I did that. It's really fun, really neat program. I won't show it to you because I have to have a Windows computer to do it, I think. Um, and it's also got to be running in XP compatibility mode. And it, it's a pain to run now, but back in the day, it was really neat. This thing is modified. It is fun. It is fun. This is literally my daily user. Uh, I use this over all of my iPods because it's got the best audio quality. Uh, it's got a, a Wolfson uh, DAC in it, and it's just it's got such amazing audio quality that I literally use this as my daily. It needs charge right now, but it's got a really high MAH uh, battery in it, and it holds a charge for eons. It's amazing. So we'll explain to you what is in this, how it's set up, show you how it works and uh, whatnot. And well, let's get to it. Okay, so backstory on this bad boy right here, 128 gig mini. And that's the first sign that there's something different about this iPod here. But before we get into that, uh, let's talk a little bit about this. I've been want I had been wanting a flash-based iPod Mini for years, and in 2009 I got my first uh, iPod Mini and made it flash-based. My dad had a semi-messed up uh, 16 gig CF card. Uh, that did not like to write, but it would read fine. So what would happen is, uh, what I did is I put that into my first iPod Mini, which is sitting at my mother somewhere, and um, it would write to it for about 10 minutes, and then you'd have to disconnect it, then plug it back in, and start writing to it again, and then disconnect it, plug it back in, start writing to it again, and then disconnect it, plug it back in, start writing to it again until it was full. And then after that, it would run fine. Um, that thing is, like I said, still sitting at my mother somewhere. But this thing, um, I'd been wanting a bigger one because I'd been reading online that people had been making 128 gig ones and um, they'd also been making bigger than that because these can read up to about 256, I think, before it really doesn't... Um, work with the library anymore. And there are some caveats with this thing. For instance, uh, getting this thing to set up shuffle and stuff, it's slow because it's got like, a, I think it's a 90 meg buffer or something in it. And uh, it, um, it only can hold up to a certain number of songs in the library's um, buffer before um, it just stops working. So in Rockbox, what it does is when you start playing, it builds up the... Um, uh, buffer and then it's it cr cr quits about halfway through or so and um, it will just play whatever it loaded in the shuffle songs which is fine you just have to redo the buffer if you want to listen more songs uh, but it does cause some issues for instance to sync this you have to force it into disk mode you can't do it while it's booted up into its software because it will lock the whole iPod up every single time. But if you have it in disk mode by just 
holding in menu and select, restarting it, and then going select play and doing it in the disc mode, it syncs fine. And I'd been wanting one of these for years. And in 2013, I realized that uh, some CF cards were finally getting cheap enough. And back then, a, a CF to SD was not a viable option because they just did not work with iPod minis. Now they do. iFlash has one, and I could make a 256 uh, gig one for probably about 50 bucks if that, which would be cool, but 128 still holds my entire iTunes library, as we can see right here. Uh, I still have 12.3 gigs free, and I, I have another like 200 songs I've got to sync to this eventually. But still, right now it's fine, and I could also lower the quality, but that's the reason why I made this, is because I don't want to lower the quality. And that also means I'll eventually be going to 256 probably. But right now, this thing, it's its a 128. Uh, I built it in 2013, and back then, the 128 card I got was uh, the cheapest one on the market, um, verified working cheapest one on the market, which was about half the price of all the rest, and it was still about 120 bucks. And this is 2013. CF cards today are still expensive in high capacities, but not as bad as they were. And this thing... Um, yeah, and the card in it was really expensive, and it was some off-brand name, but it was verified working. And it's a really slow write to it, and pretty slow read, but it works. And uh, I, I can't complain a whole lot about that. Um, today, I could make it, of course, a lot bigger. But if you notice here, it says 128 Mini, um, and there's a lot of other things on here. For instance, if we go down here, the legal menu I changed to open. And I did this all in 2013. And if we look, 2008 to 2013, Rutke Mods, all rights reserved, HM and HM logo are trademarks of Rutke Mods. iPod is a trademark of Apple Computer Incorporated, but who cares? Here's a little tip, hold in the menu and select until uh, the iPod resets, leave hold unlocked, and it will boot in a rock box. And you can have fun with it and reset it, blah, 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 blah. Well, ever wonder who sits down and writes these legal pages? Wow, they must have a boring life. There's too much crap on this legal page. So we changed it. Are we still modding iPods? Yes, Rock Mods is. <laughs> I did all that in 2013, and there's a few other neat things, like if we play a song, let's uh, shuffle it. And this does take a while to buffer, but once it gets loaded up, it will play. There we go. It says rock on, and if we go back to the main men menu, it says rock, rock on instead of now playing. And how I did this is I used a program called iPod Wizard, which was being developed until I think about 2008 um, when um, iPod OSs were getting encrypted. And, um, and as you can see here, it still goes pretty quick. It's, it's got a little bit of a lag, but it does work. Okay, so that's cool and all, but if we restart it, and follow the instructions from um, open. It will boot into Rockbox. And this is one of my Rockbox systems. And uh, for instance, if we go over to database, it should load everything, as we can see here. But if we like shuffle songs, um, let's see here. I can't remember how we shuffle songs. It's been a while since I've used Rockbox. I usually use the standard. Um, there we go. Database. We'll just let it play something. Um, once I remember how I do it, resume playback. 
Oh, yeah, I forgot this has an audio library song on it that's not actually synced to it. This was, uh, I was originally planning, this was going to be the first iPod of the iPod series back in the day, long before dank pods ever existed. And uh, I was going to show you how good quality the audio is from coming from this, but you can't really show it to you on uh, YouTube. So I had this song, um, but I never actually got to show you guys it because there was really no way. Even lying in on, straight into the uh, computer, there's no point. It's going to sound the same as just playing the sound back to you from the original file. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's... Um, I think I've got some Rockbox stuff on here. That's just the song. Uh, this will play video like my second generation does, um, which is cool, but I don't have any videos on it currently. Let's, um, I wish I could remember how you could just shuffle. Um... Let's see here. I have a lot of stuff on here. Um, something uh, that I know has, because there's something else neat on here that I love about um, about Rockbox is you can see the album artwork that's coded into the song which I love about these, this thing. And the only thing you have to do is, uh, let's see if I remember how to do it. You have to rebuild the list every time you sync new songs. Uh, it's uh, under plugins, I think, uh, applications, or demos, demos, I think. And then you go to picture flow, like that. And look, we've got cover flow, just like on a uh, newer iPod. But you have to um, rebuild it every single time. So what you do is you uh, do that, and then you go to, I think it's settings, or rebuild cache, and it will scan everything. And this takes usually an hour or two, because it's a lot of stuff for it to scan. But once it does it, um, you just go back to it, and it will um, do it which is really neat. Yeah, let's tr tr bring it back up. Picture flow. And now it's rebuilding everything. This is gonna take hours. <laughs> so we're not going to do that, but that, that's neat. Okay, stop, stop. We'll just reset it. But yeah, that's my 128 gig iPod. Let's just boot it back into the original OS. And it works totally fine. Everything's totally functional on it. It is a little worn out. Um, it started its life as a 4 gig. Now it's a 128 gig, 32 times the original storage. Um, and it's worn out enough where you can't read anything on the top anymore, like hold and headphone. But it's in pretty decent shape. And I didn't actually mention why I wanted to build a flash iPod other than the fact it sounded, uh, it, it's got better sound quality and stuff. It's because this thing is really small and nearly bulletproof with flash in it. You could throw this thing against the wall. The worst thing that will happen is you break the LCD. Otherwise, everything will still work. You know, you could probably run it over. This case is sturdy enough where it possibly would survive. I don't know if it would or not, honestly. But um, these things are so durable. You can just keep bashing it into things. It will keep on working. No worries about the hard drive breaking or anything like that. Oh, and that's the other problem with having Flash uh, this big is it takes forever for it to organize all the songs because every time it reboots, it has to organize all the songs before it starts playing. And once it's booted up, it works. And this thing really needs charged. But if we go over to songs, songs, and that's the only major drawback of this thing is um, newer ones, when you're doing a scan, scrolling it really fast, it will um, just start going by letter. 
on this thing, you have to keep scrolling. The nice thing is it does speed up, but it's just, you know, it takes forever if you want to play something at the very end of the songs. So, yeah. But this is this is my 128 gig flash iPod mini. I love this thing, and I still use it daily. Um, I haven't plugged it in in over a week, and uh, it still had a charge. So that's awesome. Um, it, it needs charge, though, so I don't want to plug it in. But, um, yeah, I... I'm happy with it. It's it's a great little iPod. I will eventually do a flash mod on this too and do another video on it showing you how to do it. But uh, the biggest problem with doing this is getting these top and bottom off without breaking all the tabs that hold everything together, um, which is pretty hard to do because these tabs are very, very fragile. And um, yeah, it's the only drawback. Um, working on those um, but other than that yeah that's my 128 gig iPod mini I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode don't forget I do now have a Patreon if you'd like to support me just um, go over to the end of the video or in the description below I'll have a link and you can help support me see these videos a day early and uh, you don't have to this channel is still free to everyone as long as you're watching my videos and my ads it helps me get my name out there it helps me bring in more revenue but if you want to see these videos a day earlier or uh, sometimes even earlier than that or whatnot uh, just come and join me on patreon help support me i'd greatly appreciate it and that's the end of today's video guys thank you for watching this has been a rocky mods video